today's lesson, we're going to learn how to work through our um, gas laws using Boyle's law, Charles's law, Gay-Lussac's law, and the combined gas law. Now, yesterday, we already talked about this, so I'm just going to pull this slide up. Whenever you're reading through your problems, you want to make sure you're able to identify your variables correctly and label them correctly. So for pressure, remember the possible units are atmospheres, torque, millimeters of mercury, pascals, or kilopascals. Temperature must always be converted to Kelvin, but it could be given to you in Fahrenheit or Celsius in the problem, or you may have it given in Kelvin. But you always should convert it to Kelvin before plugging into any of our gas laws. Volume can be in milliliters, liters, centimeters cubed, or decimeters cubed. Another thing that we see oftentimes in our gas law calculations is we'll see this abbreviation STP. STP stands for standard temperature and pressure, and this is a predefined set of conditions. Standard temperature is defined as zero degrees Celsius, which when you convert it gives you 273 Kelvin. Standard pressure is one atmosphere. These have unlimited sig figs because they're part of the definition. So remember that if you're have a problem that has STP given. So the gas laws, these are sets of equations that help us predict how a gas will behave. The first gas law we want to look at is Boyle's law. Boyle's law states that for a given mass of a gas at constant temperature, the volume of the gas varies inversely with the pressure. So the formula for Boyle's law is P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. The ones represent your initial conditions and the twos represent your final conditions. Again, they vary inversely, which means if the pressure goes up, the volume does the opposite. It goes down. If the pressure goes down, the volume will increase. That's Boyle's law. The second gas law is Charles's law. Charles's law states that if the volume of a fixed gas um, it is directly proportional to its Kelvin temperature if the pressure is kept constant. So the formula for Charles's law is V1 divided by T1 equals V2 divided by T2. Again, remember all the temperatures should be plugged in in Kelvin. The third gas law is known as Gay-Lussac's law. Gay-Lussac's law states that the pressure of a gas is directly proportional to the Kelvin temperature if the volume remains constant. So volume is constant with Gay-Lussac's law. They're directly related. So P1 divided by T1 equals P2 divided by T2. Now if you were to superimpose these three formulas into one formula, you would get the combined gas law. The combined gas law actually allows you to do the calculations for situations in which only the amount of the gas is constant. So like the other three, we either had the pressure constant, the volume constant, or the temperature constant. So you could drop it out. But the combined gas law combines all three of the previous formulas. And so we get P1 times V1 divided by T1 equals P2 times V2 divided by T2. On the next video, we will work through some calculations. Teachers, please disregard that bell.